Welcome to my seventh feature film, Angels of Dust. It's a film made with enormous pleasure and thanks for tremendous uh, input for the talents of a joyful group of actors. I feel as if I can be proud of this production and proud of them. And uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the film, but not too much, because I, I think a film should speak for itself. Perhaps I can give a few hints uh, about the meaning and motivations, but I still feel the meanings are hidden in the images and the music. And actually, I'm just beginning to understand it myself. Anyway, I wanted this film to be driven by music. Um, a small bit of the music is my own. The beautiful opening harp music, which you are hearing now, was composed and played by my friend Mark Harmer. And the rest has been licensed by young, enthusiastic composers that have made their music available uh, for almost nothing via the internet. Angels of Dust took its inspiration from old Greek myths. My mother, whose grandfather was Greek, ingrained these myths into me by reading them from a large illustrated book uh, before I slept every night. You can imagine you know, going to sleep with a with the head of Medusa being hung and, and uh, Pericles uh, with his sword, just to, just to give you an idea how I fell asleep. Anyway, um, I had uh, I have here some images of the Maenads or helpers of the Minotaur bringing him gifts. Uh, the Minotaur was kind of connected with uh, with the idea of the god uh, Dionysus. So. Um, we really don't know exactly too much about Dionysian uh, rites, apart from the fact that there were, seems to be a lot of wine and sex, uh, which gave me some inspiration for the film. <laughs> and then the rites uh, actually in the ancient Greek history were, was the birthplace of tragedy and comedy. The inner obstacles to creativity, using a special technique, well, as he says, it's, it's details, it's all details, he liberates you. It's named Wine and Woman. Ugh. And this is what the player of the leader of the group from the Secret Theater, uh, Emmanuel Fox, is interested in, going back to the origins of things. Uh, just a little bit about myself. Uh, something like 10 years ago, I traded in my painting brushes to become a filmmaker. Painting, as much as I loved it, didn't seem to excite me anymore. And I picked up a cheap camcorder, which uh, just mesmerized me with this moving image. And this is what I always wanted to do. As early as a 17-year-old, when I, one of my greatest friends, Dennis Lang, introduced me to French and Italian cinema. Uh, there he is, the guy who guided me through almost all my features, right up to the beginnings of Angels of Dust. He died about a half a year ago, and this film is dedicated to him. Uh, the film premieres in Max, <laughs> Max, in Mike's Badhaus Theater, Badhaus Theater in Amsterdam. Uh, its director, Michael Monacardi, saw this film and he said to me, this is the kind of film that people will want to see more than one time. It's a really good vibe film. So, uh, I hope you feel the good vibes too. And uh, if you do, I have a feeling I've done the work I wanted to do.